Hello again everyone, my name is James Shotwell and this is Music Biz. It is so good to be with you again. Today we're going to be discussing Be Real, the popular new social media app and where artists may or may not fit into the platform. Now in case you're unaware, Be Real is a photo sharing app that prompts users to share a daily photo of their lives completely unfiltered at a random time each day. And what makes this even cooler is that Be Real utilizes dual selfie technology. That means both cameras, the one facing you and the one facing away from you, take a photo at the same time and it produces those photos as a single image so people can see what you look like and what you're looking at at the same time. And again, this happens randomly throughout the day. So everybody in the Eastern Standard Time Zone will get an alert today at some point and they will have two minutes to post their dual selfie. There's no filters, there's no trickery, there's no extra points for creativity. It's just about where you are and who you are today in your life. And honestly, people find that very refreshing. But there's a catch. Be Real is perhaps the first ever social media app, or at least the first one I can think of that has gotten this popular, that was built to avoid advertisings and cliche marketing tricks. There's no real way to prepare for a Be Real post because you never know when it's going to come in. And if everything looks a little too put together, people are gonna notice. I mean, people have a sixth sense for when things are inauthentic, and Be Real is all about authenticity, which leaves us with a conundrum. As a musician with a new single, a new tour, a new whatever to promote, is there a place on Be Real for you? And I say the answer is yes, though the strategy might not be what you think. So now that Be Real has more than 30 million downloads worldwide and is quickly growing in North America, people want a strategy. But let me be honest with you. Everything about Be Real is built on authenticity. So there's really no immediate strategy that comes to mind. However, I wanna talk a little bit about serendipity. Now, that is the occurrence and development of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way. That is a dictionary definition if you're wondering why my eyes kind of moved away from the camera for a second. Serendipity is when something very amazing happens, not because you manufactured it, but it almost seems like it happened by chance or as if it was fated to happen. Now, for an app like Be Real to be successful, its users have to be living authentic lives, yes, but they also have to be interesting lives. People have to like looking at the content that people post. If everyone is sitting inside a cubicle every single day or is at lunch when those alerts go off, you're going to get tired of seeing salads and cubicle walls. But you don't live that life. You're a musician. And if you're doing the work, if you're working on songwriting, if you're shooting videos, if you're making content, if you're on the road, if you're playing a show, if you're doing any of the things that is considered essential to being a musician and that notification goes off, you have an opportunity to let your fans into your world. And at the end of the day, that's what people want. We may have more social media networks than ever. We may have more ways than ever to keep in touch with one another, but it feels more and more like it's harder to create authentic connections. Be Real is seeking to solve that in the simplest way possible. No filters, no timing, no uh, elaborate plans before things launch. You get two minutes at a random point in time to post whatever is happening in your life. And if you are real about that, whether you're at the day job you do to make sure that you can afford to go on tour, or you're in the studio working on a song, or you're, you're shooting your first ever TikTok because you've decided it's finally time to get on TikTok, Share that with your audience. Tell them what you're going through. You know, they say a picture may be worth a thousand words, and in this case, you're getting two photos for the price of one. You get to share yourself and what you're doing, and then you get to tell your fans about that. You get to weave another narrative through your already elaborate story that tells fans about the daily experiences of a musician on the rise. And if you can't make that interesting, I don't know what to tell you because it's one of the most captivating stories that any of us has to tell. A creative person trying to make their dreams come true. So in reality, the perfect be real strategy is no strategy at all. Vulnerability is the key. You need to be as open and transparent as you are in your music as you are with your be real community. And if you can accomplish that and your fans are on the platform, well, I think you could have another successful strategy at hand, another way to communicate with your fans. And honestly, some artists may find Be Real to be the best option of them all. I mean, TikTok requires so much planning, and Twitter can be hit or miss. If you tweet the wrong thing, things can go sideways very quickly. Facebook is, well, Facebook is Facebook, and Instagram is changing so often it's hard to keep up, but Be Real, you don't have to strategize. All you have to do is keep notifications on for that app, post daily, and share a story in doing so. And if you can do all of those things, if you can find a way to communicate 
a story through your Be Real activity. And if you can be authentic in your journey, I think you'll have success. Now, I wanna tell you that Music Biz is also available as a podcast. Now, some of you know this already, but if you have Spotify, you can actually watch the show on Spotify. You can listen to it as well. We are also available in audio form everywhere else that podcasts are available. So if you don't watch us on YouTube, you can find us anywhere that you choose. We are available wherever you like to consume content. Again, my name is James Shotwell. I am the host of this channel and I will be back very soon with even more great content. And who knows, we might even start doing shorts and TikToks. I mean, we talk about it enough. We might as well start rolling them out. So that's something you can look forward to. Now, again, I'll be back very soon. But until then, if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button. Helps me keep my job, helps me produce content for you, helps everyone in this community get ahead because we can keep doing things together and that's what I'm hoping for. If you've already done that, thank you for your support and as always, take care of yourself because you deserve it. <laughs>